Now continuing further in our learning journey of machine learning, here in this video, we will learn about how we can evaluate a regression model using an evaluation metric which is known as R squared or an R2 score. This R2 score or an R squared value is also known as the coefficient of determination. So what it does is, this is actually a measure which provides information about the goodness of fit of a model. Now if I want to speak in terms of the regression, it is a statistical measure which tells us that how well the regression line that we have actually drawn from our given data set using the linear regression algorithm, how exactly that regression line that we have drawn is going to approximate the actual data. In other words, even in this case of R2 score, it will help me to understand how good my Y red is actually closer to my Y true. So the idea is simple. Whatever the prediction that I'm generating from my model, I should be able to get the prediction which is similar to the true values. So the R squared value is going to help me to understand how close my Y red are actually closer to my Y true. So whenever we are doing the analysis on the given data set, so this R square value is actually going to tell us, okay, it's going to tell us as how best the fit of the model is for a given data. Now, if you look into the coefficient of determination, that is the R square value. So this is given by one minus some squared regression divided by total sum of squares which is nothing but SST. So if I want to represent it mathematically, this is given by one minus sigma of y i minus y hat i whole square divided by sigma of y i minus y bar whole square. So what I'm doing right now is this here, in this case of R squared error here, I'll take the sum squared regression. Whatever is the predicted output that I'm getting y hat, I'm taking the difference. In the below, I'm taking the difference from the mean. So the sum squared regression is the sum of the residual squared. Okay, this is the sum of the residual squared. And the total sum squared that I have mentioned, okay, this total sum squared is the sum of the distance of the data point from the mean. So it is the sum of the distance of the data point from the mean all squared. So whenever we generate the output for the R2 score or the R squared value, we get the value between 0 to 1. So the value of R2 score will be between 0 to 1. So this is like more of a percentage. So the way that we interpret is, suppose if I have a given data set, let us consider a scenario which is an ideal scenario when my given data point are lying on the straight line that is on my regression line. Now in that case, when my given data points are present on the regression line, if I try to represent it pictorial way, this is how the data points would look like. So I've got the independent variable X and the line that you see right now, this is the regression line and red data points are the actual data points. In this case, all the data points are lying on my regression line. So this is a ideal case where value of R square is equal to one. Okay, so all the variation in the Y values are actually accounted by my X. Now there is one more example diagram that I want to show you. Now this is an example, another diagram, which describes the value of R square is equal to 83%. Okay, value of R square is equal to 0 0.83. What it means is, I can say that the 83% of the variation in Y, 83% of variation in Y is accounted by my x. 
So here in this case, you can clearly observe that the value is less than one because not all the data points are lying on this regression line. So in this case, the value is less than one. And here I'm getting the value of R square as 0 0.83, which means that using my X, I can only describe the Y with 83% variation. And if I've got the another case, okay, this is the another uh, case of how do we interpret the value of R square. So this is the another case. So we can see that none of the data points are nearer to my regression line. So in this case, the value of R square will be equal to zero, which means none of the variation in my Y is accounted for by the X values. Okay. So in this way, we interpret the values of R squared value or the coefficient of determination. Here it says how much information that I can explain of the target data using my given features. So this is known as the coefficient of determination or the R2 score. So the values will range between zero to one it would range between zero to one or zero or hundred percent. Okay. So this is how we will describe the R square value or the R2 score. Now this R2 score is one of the commonly used metric whenever we are evaluating any regression based algorithms. So in our given data set, so in the last session, we have actually performed the mean squared error and the mean root mean squared error, right? So, on the same data, let's go ahead and find the same. So in this scenario, okay, I'll just go ahead and get the output. So I'm going to say as, so R2 score. So this R2 score is available inside the sklearn dot matrix. So once I've done the import, I'm going to say, R2 score and I'm going to specify my Y test and Y pred. So if I now execute this, see, I've got the value of R2 score or the R square value as 0 0.8609, which means using the features X, I can actually explain closer to 87%, yes, closer to 87% of variance of the target variable in this case y. So the more closer to the value of one, which would mean that the better prediction that I'm actually generating from the trained model. So this is the overall intuition of the understanding of this R squared value or the R2 score. So from the list of various evaluation metrics, you are now aware of mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error, and the R square. Apart from that, we also have root mean squared log error. See, this root mean squared log error is available inside the scikit-learn dot matrix. I'm going to say, okay, mean squared, okay, we have log error. So we have the mean squared log error. Okay, now if I want to calculate the mean squared log error, I can just send in my Y test and Y pred. So this is going to return the mean squared log error. Okay. Now, if I want to calculate the root mean squared log error, we just have to say squared is equal to false. So this is going to return like root mean squared log error. So this is going to return the root mean squared log error. Okay, so these are the various metrics that we have got. And lastly, we have got adjusted R square. So in scikit-learn, we do not have the ability to calculate the adjusted R square. So we have to apply the formula and calculate the adjusted R square whenever we are evaluating this regression models. So overall, the evaluation metrics here is here for us to measure how well our model is performing the fit on the given data. The better closer is my predictions to the target variable. That would mean that my model is actually performing well and it is working as per the expectation. 
if the predictions is away from the expected values it means that my model is unable to learn the pattern that is present in the data set all right team so with this we come to the end of this video on the other evaluation metrics when we are working with the regression task now in the next video we will go ahead and learn about the assumptions of the linear regression model okay we learn about the assumptions in the next video so i'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.